Hello everyone and welcome. I am playing a Talia support video game because I uploaded a Talia support guide yesterday. Um, go check that out if you want to see a detailed explanation of everything. But this will be a gameplay. Um, I'm recording off stream. I don't usually play off stream, but I wanted to get a Talia support game in for the just because you know I uploaded the guide yesterday. So hope you guys enjoy. Um, I am playing Talia Zaya. Actually, not bad. If she can land a brute, I can land my combo off of it. And we're versus a Senna Thresh, which can be very scary. Thresh can always lantern ADC out if I make a pick. And any hook onto me can be insta-death, so we're gonna have to be careful. It makes it hard for me to go for Q poke when Thresh can just hook me, right? Because minions will block my Q, and if I walk away from minions, I can get hooked. So we'll have to be careful for that, but we'll try our best, uh, to get pressure without getting caught. And just like that, the damage I got down is already really good. This Thresh is actually just all inning us, level 1 apparently. I don't think he realizes how strong my champion is, level 1. Walk up, throw a Q, miss, it's all good. It's just the one mana Q in the circle. If you throw a Q in the circle, it's only one mana, so... It only throws one rock, it's not a huge deal. Okay, we hit level 2 first, and as you can see... Easy flash made because she didn't respect our level 2 all in. Throw out a 1 rock again. It's good to throw out the 1 rocks too because I can start stacking my mana flow ban slash get gold stacks. And it's not really costing me much. Like again, I can just throw out a 1 mana. I miss, I miss. If I hit, I hit. In general, you don't want to make too many of these circles on the ground because you need to have space where you can get your combo out without, um, you know, like the circles you can only throw out 1 rocks. And you want to be throwing out 5 if you're making a pick. So... Throwing out one mana rocks in the circle is not a terrible idea. Oh, my ADC gets caught. One more auto and she dies. Huge. Alrighty. Well, that worked out. I didn't even play that well, but you know. And I go get a free tower plate, and let's see if we can roam or do something. I was too late to make the pick happen. But we got our mid laner here, so let's do it. Huge roam. Really huge roam. I must push myself harder next time. Help my ADC shove this wave in and I'm gonna go B. My responsibility. And I can get myself a lost chapter. Um I don't think I'm gonna get the lost chapter though. I really prioritize boots on this champion really badly. Um you just, she's such a great roamer at any point, right? You can just look at her passive, how when I'm wall riding, I'm getting 15 boot speed from Celerity, 10 boot speed from Relentless Hunter, and my boots, and I just move really quick. It's basically like I have a boots of mobility right now, except I also have spell pen boots. It's like kind of insane. So I'm on my way top, see if we can make a pick happen. And that is why you roam on Talia. And just like that, boom. As Talia, I'm not kidding. Um, you're not the greatest in lane. In lane, I would say you're, you know, you're not terrible. You're okay. But where she really shrines is her roaming. Like, you just move so quick. You can see my move speed right now is 488, almost 500 move speed. If we look at Thresh right now, his move speed is 360, right? So, what is that? I have like 150 move speed on Thresh, which is insane. Like, if you look at Boots of Mobility, Boots of Mobility gives 115. So, I have more than a Boots of Mobility on Thresh right now just because I rushed these pen boots and just because of Celerity, Relentless Hunter, plus my passive when I'm wall riding. So, she is actually just an insane roamer. Um, usually, you want to play her when you have CC in your side lanes, I would say. Um, 
if Cho'Goth lands this knockup and I can land my full combo, it's huge, right? Whoopsies, I didn't even mean to use my W there, kind of slip. Just getting some damage out. Thresh has no hook, so I can play a little bit aggressive here. And just like that, I kind of bait them. It may have looked like an int by me, but it really wasn't because it was pretty calculated by the fact that I knew that they didn't have um, things up to really do anything. Thresh had no hook, so there wasn't really punishment for that, right? If Thresh had hook, I would never do that, right? But because Thresh had no hook, like, what's the punishment? What's the play that they're trying to go for? We know Viego's behind us somewhere, but also Lilia's behind me, so... I'm not going to get baited by this. No point. We know Viego is bought. And let's go to the dragon. Oh, nice. I got a Dark Harvest stack because he walked into my thing. Just a random W, you never know. If it hits, it would have been kind of crazy. There's a Viego there, so let's just B, because I have enough to go get myself a uh, Lost Chapter here. I really like um, just getting the, the Everfrost on Talia, even though I don't like it as much as the GLP for making picks. The old GLP was so good because you would GLP and it would help you land a W for like making picks. Everfrost's range is super low. You usually can't use it for making picks because they won't walk into Everfrost's range, but it's really good for disengage, right? If Viego or Aatrox try to run me down, I can Everfrost root them and use my combo on them. So it's just really good for disengage, not as good for pick. The old GLP was really good for pick. Uh, I could have roamed, but there wasn't really much to roam for right now. Top was Mia, and I can't really roam on a... Uh, what's it called? Let's just go for a random W, see if it lands. And I did, Pog. That was a low percentage one. It was a 50-50, I would say. But there wasn't really a punishment for me if I missed, so I went for it. But yeah, it's hard to roam on a Vladimir because it can just pool, right? Like, Camille's great, can CC Vladimir, and then I can land my combo. But if Vladimir pools, I just waste my time. So I can't really be roaming Every mid. Um, Thresh is roaming mid, so I'm just going to counter roam mid, to be honest. Again, Thresh, even Thresh with Boots and Mobility, I bet you is slower than I am right now. Thresh has 430, 4, 443 move speed, and I have 500, so. As you can see, Thresh with Boots and Mobility is moving slower than I do with Pen Boots. And Viego just randomly charging through my shot. As you can see again, the roaming power of this champion is just absolutely insane. Like again, you just have to remember, like I know I've said a few times, but again, this is a Boots and Mobility Thresh who is moving slower than me with Sork Boots, right? Like I built combat stats and he built roaming stats and I'm able to move quicker than him. So no matter what roam he does, he is roaming to somewhere where I built combat stacks and he didn't. So I am always just stronger than him no matter where we both roam to. It's it's just really insane when you think about it. The downside is, like I said, she doesn't have the best lane phase. Um, If you don't have ways to land your W, it can be really hard. Thresh really shouldn't have been roaming. He should have just built Merc Treads probably and just played for lane. But he's probably thinking because his ADC is just like doing so badly. And boom, just like that. As Talia, you just want to hide in vision. If I was showing, I would never have hit that W because he would have dodged it. But because I'm hiding out of vision, he doesn't expect the W to be coming. But when they see you coming, it's always impossible to hit. I don't like... Uh-oh. Uh, whoopsies. This guy had a TP. 
I don't like posting games I stomp because I feel like it's not realistic. I don't like posting games I stomp, but I don't usually record off stream. So usually I get like multiple games from streaming and then post it. Because I'm not, sh I'm off stream. It's my off day. I don't want to be playing a ton of games trying to get you guys in close games. So hopefully this game isn't too much of a stomp. But you know what? I'm honestly, I'm just feeling I get to stomp because I'm super far ahead. But the score is still quite even. So it's not bad. Not bad game for the tuber, if I do say so myself. Again, um, after resets, you can look to roam. We know that top just TP bots, so it probably can't go top. And my mid laner just resets, so there's not much for me to do, but I may as well get vision control now. So, um, one of the scariest things for Talia, to be honest, is getting vision control. She doesn't have great ways to fake check bushes, so. That was scary. Wait, what is my ADC doing? Why is she still out here? Oh, man. I make the great escape, and she's just chilling. <laughs> Yikes. The Thresh Flash. I guess I should have saw that coming. Oh, well, I got myself an Everfrost, so hopefully that'll help a lot. This Aatrox is kind of scaring me, to be honest. There's not much I can do to him. He can just kind of outrange me and jump on me, unless I throw a Seismic Shove at max range. But again, if he uses his dash and dodges it, then what do I do? Yikes. Not fully sure what my my uh, jungle was doing there. Fresh stone break. Fresh start. Just randomly ran in. Oh my god! I was paying attention to bot when that happens. Okay, well she at least gets the kill trade, but god damn it, man. This always happens to me when I play, to, Leo, to be honest. I just stomp the early game, but somehow the games are never a stomp. And then I always int the mid game. If it's one thing I really need to work on with my Talia is the mid game. Because mid game, I always get a huge lead early, and I don't know what to do with it. It's just like, what do I do, right? Like, this guy's impossible to hit. So I just got a freaking... Well, like, that was just an int. I was honestly paying attention to bot. As you can see, Everfrost with your ulti is insane though. That's what I'll be doing to make picks. You just ulti in, Everfrost for the root, and just land the free combo. Now they do have a lot of healing, so this would be a good game for Morello's, but it's really not my job to be getting anti-heal for my team. It's really not my job whatsoever um i really think i should just be getting zanyas if i want to get an anti-heal it has to be third item because i'm just gonna be getting dove by people and i don't want to be just dying over and over on repeat and my adc is dead again cool pog champ you know not flaming my adc but before the game started she was saying for someone to dodge Probably because of my Talia pick, and then look at her. Like, the freest win, and she's just throwing it in some ways. It's kind of funny. I love how I'm trading all this, and she doesn't even, like, pressure. Like, obviously, she can't do anything because she doesn't have the range. But, like, if she's walking at my AD at the ADC there, I doubt till that Senna turns around and auto-attack cues me. But she just kind of lets me just get decimated in a lot of ways there. For no reason.
But we got the Talia Flash, so that's good. Or not the Talia, the uh, Senna. Always want to be chilling out of vision. As a support when you're in vision, you aren't really doing much because the enemy knows you're there, obviously. It's just super unlucky that my ADC is not very good. How amazing is this? Wow, that's so unlucky. I had a really good knock away on the Vladimir there. Just a little escape, was making some plays in the jungle, trying to see if I could be sneaky, but they saw me coming. Here I just want to be zoning, put down my E, make it hard for the enemy to enter. This is a really sketchy fight, but I am getting good DPS down. I don't know why we forced the fight, to be honest. Damn. Why are these games so hard? <laughs> I'm doing so much work. Um, screw the control ward. I think I'm just going to get more AP. Honestly, I'm doing a lot of damage in these fights, and I just want to continue my snowball going. And then we'll get Morello's next after this. God, I hope this isn't a loss, man. That would suck. Oh, well. My team wants to make a play, so I am moving towards seeing if I can use my ulti to get in. Vladimir is just too OP. Oh, yikes. I should die at least. Dude, honestly, how disgusting is this champ? Like, it's not even like he's fed. Like, I'm eight kills, and he just turns around and one-shots me. If I landed a full combo on him, I doubt he would even, like, drop to half health. Like, oh my god. I guess he's level 13 and I'm level 10, but, like, still. Why is this, like, a thing? <laughs> You know, something that's a classic for me, I'm not going to claim to be the best Talia in the world, 
I always stomp my early games on Talia every time, but I seem to always just int my mid game away. Like, I was like, look how many deaths I've had for how little, like, kills I've had now. Like, I really, like, if any of you guys are Talia mains and know what the hell I'm doing wrong mid to late game, let me know because I don't know, man. Oh my god, place the gob ward. I've been playing Talia for almost over a year now, about a year. And I'm not kidding. It's been a trend of mine that I always start off the game with just smurf KDAs, but then like end the game just like with a complete int score somehow. Like imagine if I didn't start this game off good, right? If I didn't smurf and I was just would end up being like zero and six, right? It's just, I don't know, man. Obviously this game is unlucky because my top did really bad, but like still. I know there's players at PMD in Korea who's been sitting Grandmaster, you know, all season and last season playing only Talia support. So there's clearly something I have to improve on in the mid game, but I don't know, man. It's very hard for me to figure it out by myself. I shouldn't have gone back. Maybe I should have just left like could. Somehow, like, did you guys see how hard we stomped bot lane, by the way? My ADC is 3, 7, and 3 now. And she's trying to, like, focus on me. Like, maybe I should have helped them with the Baron, but at the same time, I was zoning Vlad and their jungler from getting in. So, like, I'm not sure. Maybe this is just an unlucky game, and I'm just too focused. The problem is, is see these people, how they're just trying to blame others. Even here, after a game where I completely smurfed the early game, what am I doing? I'm saying, what am I doing wrong, and why? how can I improve this so it doesn't happen anymore, right? Like, even after, a, like, this stuff, I'm still focusing on myself rather than others. People in solo queue just always focus on, on their teammates rather than themselves. And like, she is so overextended right here, it's crazy. She has no vision around her and she's just pushing up for farm. If I stumble, I have the earth to catch me. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> it is what it is, mate. Oh, 
again, if you guys know what to do in these fights to make it better, I don't know, man. How do I play this fight without just getting completely ran down? Like, again, there are people who are in Grandmaster one-tricking this pick. So, like, clearly, there's something I'm doing wrong. I don't know. We got this. All right, easy peasy. We got this. We push an in hit back. No big deal. As you can see by this later point, my move speed on my celerity, like look at this, 22 move speed. Kind of nuts if you think about it. 22 move speed. Your pair one of boots is 20, so that's why I really like celerity. Holy crap, I almost got caught by someone there. We need 1700 gold for our last item. The question is, is it worth it to upgrade to our support um, thingy here? The wardstone, or is it better just to get more items? I'm kind of thinking at this point that, like... I completely missed that. Oh, and I failed that. Oh, if I didn't miss that W, this guy would be dead right now. And then I could have flashed the wall here. My bad. How are we losing these fights so badly? It's just really questionable. Honestly. I'm confused. Uh, maybe what I need to be doing is using my ulti to make picks on backliners, but like, is it worth diving the 4 and 10 Senna backline? I don't know, man. This Vladimir, dude, Vladimir is disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm still thinking back to when this guy had three kills and he just one shot me. Like, what the heck? I'm waiting 50 gold for this. I don't even care. Let's get some content for you guys. I'm sorry. I don't ever play off stream, so I'm just like, it's weird just recording in general off stream. I hope you guys are enjoying. This is a good time to shout my stream. Over there, Dog Lightning on the side, TV. I stream weekdays from 4 to 10 p.m. EST. I play Medalist Mondays where I play things like my Talia, Nivea, Ivern support. And on uh, the twos then Tuesdays to Fridays, I play just my Nico support and try to climb as high as I can for the season. So, yeah. Yeah, and that champ is still insane. Shut your eyes on the horizon and your feet 
on the ground. Man, like, <laughs> what is going on? A rock in the bush is worth what am I doing wrong in these fights to just lose them so hard? Like, I wall off their team, we get a free pick, and it's 5v4. I will admit, after it's kind of a 4v4, I wasn't able to enter much, but Vladimir just runs in and kills everyone. Like... This Talia, this jungler is actually insane if she thinks that they could have ended there. There's no way. The sparrow flies against the wind. Like here comes the Vlad one shot. Well, it sucks to upload a loss, but you know, this has happened. Uh, yeah, GG, I guess. <laughs> Sub gap. <laughs> Too huge. At least me and the Thresh can thingy. <laughs> well, GG, unlucky we lost, but you guys can see the main point of this game was the early game roaming and what you can do. Unfortunately, we just got a huge AD in top gap, which is very unfortunate because of how hard we won bot lane, but sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.